What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you my crab cake recipe. Starting with some lump crab meat, Worcestershire sauce, Dijon mustard, mayonnaise, hot sauce, saltine crackers, one egg. Wait, I think I'm missing something. Oh, there it is, Old Bay seasoning. Let's get started with some mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, hate that word, hot sauce, and one of my secret ingredients, sweet pickle juice. Go ahead and add in about a teaspoon or so of that. Mix everything together, make sure it's well combined. You're definitely gonna taste this as you go. I added a pinch of sugar right there just to balance a little bit of the acidity. Season with Old Bay seasoning. Make sure you taste this prior to adding your eggs. Once the flavor is right, go ahead and mix in that egg. The egg is gonna be the binder. This crab cake recipe has very little filler. We're using saltine crackers rather than breadcrumbs. Here comes the lump crab meat. If you're feeling like a real baller, go ahead and get some jumbo lump crab meat. But my taxes haven't come back yet, so I went with regular lump. Make sure to go ahead and fold in the saltine crackers a little bit at a time. You can put them in a blender or a food processor to make them into breadcrumbs. I like to get in there with my hands and really feel the consistency. Once you got it right, go ahead and place this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to chill out. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started on our crab cakes. I'm going in with some high smoke point cooking oil along with some butter. That's a good tip to help make sure your butter does not burn up under the high heat. Go ahead and move it around and be careful not to burn your finger. Once the butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and add in our crab patties. Shout out to SpongeBob. Season with Old Bay seasoning and then allow them to sear for about a minute, minute and a half. You wanna check the bottom, make sure you get a nice crust on them and then we're gonna finish them in the oven. Let's go for one awkward flip, followed by a second awkward flip. Take a second to admire that beautiful crust that we've developed there. And then we're gonna finish these in a 400 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Next, we're gonna make our sauce starting with two half empty containers of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of chili paste, lemon juice, garlic, and give that a nice mix. Don't worry guys, I've included all of the ingredients in the description. Season this to taste. Make sure everything's well incorporated. Going in with a little bit of relish to finish things off. Get your brioche buns toasted, put on some of that aioli, start with lettuce, tomato, two ugly pieces of bacon, one delicious crabby patty. And if you've never seen a money shot before, you're about to see one now. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this down the middle. Show you guys a beautiful cross section. This is grade A food porn. I need a parental advisory warning on this video. On to preparation number two. Go ahead and butter down a baking dish or skillet. Get you a nice ice cream scooper or if you're talented, get in there with your hands and do it yourself. You want them to be about meatball size, roughly. And we're gonna place them into that skillet. Repeat this process until you filled up the skillet or used all of your crab cake mixture. This is a perfect appetizer for football games or for a dinner party. Season with Old Bay. And then we're gonna pop them in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Then I recommend finishing them under the broiler for about two to three minutes, being careful not to burn them up, but we just wanna brown the top as you see there. Garnish with a little bit of chopped parsley and a lemon wedge. And there you have it folks, you have a beautiful cutting board full of delicious crab meat. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Please take a second to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and as always, thank you for your support.